Okay, next up we want to find the um, Karen series for cos x to compute um, cos of 5 degrees, correct, to 5 decimal places. So let's write the general formula for the McLaurin series. And that is the summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity of the um, function which take the derivative to the nth degree, um, evaluated at 0 over n factorial multiplied by x to the power of n. And so in our, in our case, we have f of x is equal to cos x, right? So let's go ahead and calculate the first couple of derivatives. So the derivative of this is going to be negative sine of x. The derivative of that is negative cos of x. And this will give us sine x. Cos x, and you just keep going back and forth. Three, four, five. Go ahead to the six one three four five six. Okay, so evaluated at zero, this is going to be one. This is going to be zero. This is going to be negative one, zero, one, zero, negative one. So you see, we're just basically do another series. And so now let's um write out this in order to fill in our values. So this is from n is equal to zero. And so that would be f prime. Mm, yeah, this is going to give us f of 0 plus f prime 0 over 1 factorial. Zero, and this is by x to the power of 0. Sorry, this is x to the power of 0. So this is x to the power of 1, x to the power of 2 over 2 factorial plus the third derivative, x to the power of 3, over 3 factorial, and it goes on. And so now let's actually fill in our values, but let's make the note that um, all of our oddly, um, when you take the derivative to an odd number, so the third one, the first one, the fifth one, so on and so forth, it's going to be sine of 0, and that is going to give us a 0. So all of these odd terms are going to actually cancel out because the coefficient is going to give us a zero. And so in our scenario, we will get the summation of one minus x squared over two factorial plus x to the power of four over four factorial minus x to the power of six over six factorial. So now the reason why it's going positive, negative, positive, negative is because of the coefficient caused um, by the cos term. So it's 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. So that's simply expressed here. And so now if we want to figure out um, what that would look like in the summation form, because of the alternating pattern of it between positives and negatives, let's throw in a minus 1 to the power of n. That way when it's 0, it will be positive. To the power of 1, it'll be negative. To the power of um, 2, it'll be positive, so on and so forth. We are going to have um, x to the power of 2n, so that the um, x values can, matter, can um, match it. So when it's 0, we have x to the power of 0, 1, x to the power of 2, um, 4, x to the power of 2 by 2, so 4, and it all makes sense like that. And lastly, we see here we're going to have 2 and factorial and that is going to be what our cos of x McLaurin series looks like just based off of us using the general formula and plugging in the values when um, we're using cos of x 
And so now since we want to find 5 degrees, we're going to first need to change it um, into radians. So it would be 5 by pi over 180. And that is going to give us pi over 36. And then we're simply going to plug that in to our series. And so cos of pi over 36 is going to be equal to um, the series that we have found. So pi over 36 in the place of x all over what was 2m factorial. Right, and so now we're just going to want to evaluate the first couple of terms. We actually only need um, until here in order for it to be um, quite accurate with what you plug into your calculator because the decimal points past then won't necessarily matter. So that would be 1 minus pi over 36 squared over 2 factorial plus pi over 36 to the power of 4 over 4 factorial. You can go on if you feel like. Okay, and so now we're just going to use these two in order to find what we need to find. So that would be equal to 1 minus, um, you just plug those two values into your calculator. Um, and what you actually will get is going to be 0 point nine nine six one nine two two eight and two two eight two three and that's actually my apologies if you use just the first two the reason why it doesn't matter past this is because your calculator won't give you um decimals to the point that it'll matter. And actually, when you plug it into your calculator, it goes to five degrees really quickly. You will get um, 0 0.9961946698. And so we see that it's the same until here. And the reasoning why is because we just made an approximation by getting rid of the rest of the terms that would have made it correct to that point. And so this is going to be your final answer. So it's best to just leave it in the form of 0 Okay, and those are all the questions I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's um, Q&A. If you'd like to be aware of when one class does post other videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the button and the bell next to it so that you get the notification when we do post. If you'd like to post questions of your own so they can be answered on the live stream, be sure to check out the links in the description. This has been Marlon from One Class, and I hope to see you next time.